Incoming! What down there, folks? Hey, it's Beaker, and welcome to my um, <clears throat> monthly thrift video that I promised. Uh, this will be the finds for September of 2017. I'm going into the future. 2016. Um, I uh, I got a decent uh, little pile here on the floor. Uh, and I'm going to show you everything that I found. This was um, a couple of different thrift stores and an outlet. Um, and I got to say, like, I'm very happy... With, I didn't even realize what all I had gotten, got, uh, until I laid it all at my feet, basically, to, uh, uh, do this video. So, uh, okay, where do we start? Where do we start? Um, we're gonna start with this guy, AirTech 2000. Nice red AirTech 2000. It's not broken. That's the overpressure release valve. That's what it actually sounds like on some of these. It sounds... I have one that sounds like it's like it's farting. It's uh... But I unfortunately do not have uh... any darts that fit nicely here. Um... I don't think I do. I really don't think I do know. Um, yeah, so can't really give you a demonstration because, I mean, here, look. Um, a zombie strike dart kind of goes on there. So we'll pump it up here. But it just doesn't go. So, or am I doing that completely wrong and it's the bottom one? I'm an idiot. <laughs> I wonder why it's not going. Because <laughs> you're trying to fire it out of the wrong one. Because you're a dink. You're just... So yeah, this does... <laughs> that works. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm super smart. Yay. All right. Uh, next on the list is the Firefly. <clears throat> Man, I gotta start recording these when I don't sound like garbage. But uh, Nerf Firefly, uh, these things—if you've never—these um, were a really cool idea. Uh, and uh, when I first saw them, I was just like, "Man, I want one of those." And then I just never really did. This will be the third one that I have now. First one that I got from—I think I got it off of Clowny, I think. And it's over there, and it's <clears throat> modified to be super stock. Nice eight round rotating drum up front. This is using the old um, alignment system where when you pull the trigger it actually puts the cylinder in line. Now uh, most of them uh, align on the prime like if you mess with a hammer shot or a sweet revenge or the sweet destiny which is about to uh, start hitting shelves which I'm really excited about. But uh, let's see it rotates that way so we put the dart here top prime action and we fire and this thing sounds like it's actually the seal is pretty good on it which I'm really I'm, I'm happy about the uh, price tag is not I love finding these whoever's been like tagging these and I, I got this out of the outlet but the freaking tag again says works <laughs> why wouldn't it work I mean yeah we've Chances are all of us have at least uh, once found a blaster that was like turbo broken at the uh, uh, at an outlet or a thrift shop or something like that. Uh, let's see now. Ooh, jeez, if I can even get to it. Let's go with. Okay, so we did vintage. We did end strike. Now let's do this thing. It doesn't even really have a name. It's E and B gifts. 
what I think this actually is is uh, every so often you'll see those um, like ball shooter things. Like it's a little hover ball thing, and then there's the um, little dart blaster that comes with it. it. Doesn't even sound like it primes, and it's that's pathetic. But I guess it works. I got it for like the whole aesthetic of it. I think it looks really neat. I know it's, I know it's junk. But um, I don't know. I thought it looked neat looking, so I grabbed it. Now we move on to the competitor side with the Busby Jaguar. Um, these things are actually like I kind of dig these. I I have another one that's uh, I found that's black that's sitting over there that I didn't even know. Well, the old clowny had come over and he said I don't think I've ever seen a black one before. I didn't know that they were rare, but it has a um, inline clip that doesn't come out of the blaster which kind of makes it nice for not losing it and then it advances it advances and it will advance the entire way up it doesn't come out smack it back down and you're ready to fire all over again <clears throat> not the greatest blaster in the world but honestly uh I think it's worth a pickup. I mean, even if it's just, you know, for messing around. These things are, uh... I kind of like it. The handle's really comfy. And the top prime is not bad. Sounds like it's got some punch. So, you know. Hey, why not? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's see. Alright. Well, there's... Okay. Yeah! Half the video was me just like bending over, grabbing crap off the floor. <laughs> I found... Seems... We'll get there. I found not one, but two of these really nice Rebel pistols. I think these are the ones, like the bow strike or something like that. But I gotta tell you, I know I said this before. Or maybe I didn't. Maybe I just said it and not said it in a video. Um, the Rebel line is really nice. Like, I wish that I had bought the uh, blasters off the shelf when they were initially there. Because the, I mean, the handles are just so comfortable. They're just really nice. And it's, I mean, this is essentially the, um, Rebel version of a, uh, uh, fire strike, like without the uh, flashlight mechanism or dart storage, because I guess this has like little bow handles, but uh, a little bow arm up front because it's an attachment point, but they didn't come with it, but it doesn't matter. These things are nice, and with the, can you can dual wield with these, I mean it's, I like them, that's why I grabbed both of them that I found, because I mean, they're just they're so nice and comfy. But, um, I'm babbling. <laughs> um, dun, 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 dun. And now for something off-brand and weird. Hmm. This is the Crank Cannon. And it's <laughs> high velocity. <laughs> it actually has a little sticker that says high velocity. This is uh, one of those, this is, ooh, come on foam discs with this you know <laughs> magazine and uh but if you pull the trigger it doesn't work you have to you get about two shots off of that so you can just oh my god it's full auto <laughs> I did not know this thing was full auto. <laughs> that is awesome. 
Oh man, I've seen like a couple of sing ninety seven cents. Why do you think I picked it up? It looked hilarious, and I was proven right. So <laughs> I've seen a couple of these things at um, you know thrifts and outlets and stuff like that, and it's just like. For the most part, like, I'm not interested because I, I know that it has... But this thing with the crank gimmick? Oh, okay. I, this, this, was, this was a fun little purchase. This was fun. Um, <clears throat> let's go back a little bit since we already did the Firefly. With the Recon, I love Recons. I, I really do. They, um... Thought ahead and loaded some clips, but uh, <clears throat> I don't even know if this one will fire. Hide under there for a minute. Well, like I'll get back to you. Fires. Not bad. Um, when I, one of the first wars I ever went to, I actually uh, essentially just dual wielded. I had uh, a, uh, a recon in one hand. And a Maverick in the other. And uh, I had like leather gloves on and I was using uh, the ball of my hand right here. Prime this. I think this is left hand. So prime this. Prime the Maverick. Bang, bang. Prime, prime. It takes a little getting used to, but once you get the rhythm down, you're good to go. <clears throat> now let's go to the future. Well, the current generation. The Retaliator, but this one actually came with a uh, yellow uh, long shot clip, but original yellow long shot clip, which I have a original yellow long shot over there in the corner, um, <clears throat> so it, some of the attachments on this never really made sense to me, because like, why do I need a foregrip? When it's a top prime, that never really made a heck of a lot of sense to me. Because, I mean, I guess that's... It's not a bad uh, mechanic, but these things are fantastic when um, uh, pump gripped. Leave the... Yes, hide under there. You know where you know where we're going. Um, and there are a lot of pump grips out on the market. There's uh, Gavin Fuzzy does one. Uh, I think Hard Fox, I believe it's called Hard Fox, uh, does one. Uh, you can also make your own. Uh, I've seen uh, people use like a Retaliator. Sorry, a Recon. And use the slide from a recon to do the top prime there. Some people don't like this stock. They say it's too short. But for me, it works. Of course, I'm only 5'6", so I guess I'm a short dude. Okay. Found another one of these Max Bs, but this one actually... Well, you can't really hear it, but this one actually does hold uh, air pressure. So we'll see what we can... Now I have like... I think I have like three of these now. What is this rule of three that I keep coming with? Like, I end up with like almost three of everything. Um, <clears throat> Busby Predator. I, I, I like the gimmick of this. Being the um, a bolt action pistol, P pistol bolt action. This isn't Decker's pistol. The uh, the bolt action rifle, and it did not make it the whole way out. Something went horribly wrong, and I just I just destroyed the dart. <laughs> yep, yep. I know exactly what I'm doing, but <laughs> this video is a travesty. Uh, Busby Predator, it has the nice little dart storage area in the back. Um, there's uh, full reviews of this. 
I, I grabbed this even though I I jammed it up myself. Me. I have to unjam this now. There it goes. There goes the head of the dart. That's uh that's uh I'm not sure if that was my fault or the reason why this thing was at a thrift shop in the first place. But uh yeah, that's that. The Busby <laughs> Predator. Um Zingbo. Z curve bow. I don't have any um zing ammo handy but uh i mean if you see one of these with uh ammo do pick it up like they um <clears throat> they do go what their advertised ranges are they're um 100 over 100 feet uh without too much trouble really um which is nice when something actually gets the range claims that it says that it does okay um, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. let's go something okay so this I found after uh, I was directed to a resource which I started checking out and I started figuring out oh, okay this is so thank you Bobo Bob for um, directing me to that resource because otherwise I would have never have figured out this is called the double crossbow <clears throat> it is a very early uh, blaster in the nerf line as a matter of fact I don't even see a date printed on it anywhere in the plastic which is very interesting unfortunately um, oh hang on wait caution do not aim at face <laughs> to avoid injury, do not modify arrows. Those are the only things that you're going to get. It's, I mean, it's essentially, it's a double hamp, um, hand-operated pump. Uh, guessing it used, uh, arrows, but, I mean, this is twisted. And this one just, it was broken off when I, uh, when I got to it. I might try to rebarrel it <clears throat> so that way it can be, you know, restored. I mean, the string is still here. It's not, you know, attached like it should be, but the string is there. But that's if you've never seen one in person before. Well, I mean, this is a video, so it's not really in person. Way to screw that up. Um, this is what a Nerf double crossbow looks like. I can't really, oh, I mean, I don't know. Do I have any of the Megas around? No. Maybe. I'll have to find one then. Um, but anyway, moving on. <coughs> this bad boy. <clears throat> Sorry about the jump cut, I was coughing. Uh, this guy in Australia, known as uh, Spencer, who got a hold of one of these and made something fantastic out of it using rebarreling it and wow that screws off I'm learning so much alongside you I didn't even know that that screwed off that's kind of neat well air seal is garbage so that's definitely something that needs to be improved but uh, I, it's it's a very interesting, it's a bow design, but it primes back and it has a trigger to fire, which I thought was quite interesting. Um, I think I've seen these in the store, but um, I didn't really want to just like, you know, plunk down the money for it, but I found it at a thrift shop, so definitely pick it up. Okay, let's see, moving right along. Oh yeah, let's get this guy out. This will be the Lenard. This, okay, it's still in shot. The Lenard Blast Zuka. Unfortunately, I have a feeling this pump. Oh no, this sounds like the pump's working now. I think the trigger's busted. 
So anyway, I gotta get in here and figure out what's happening. But I didn't want to pass on a blast zuka because um, I've heard good things about them. I always love an air tank blaster. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, we'll see what happens with this. Uh, maybe down the line. Um, let's see. Okay, now we're getting into some of the. Uh, oh, hang on. <clears throat> let's get let's get some of these. Um, <clears throat> oh, hang on. Come here, you. Original Tech Target. How do I know it's an original Tech Target? Because I can stuff my pinky in the barrel. <clears throat> Meaning, this uses the original Mega Darts. And interestingly enough, I found these, which are very similar in size to original Megas, and they fire. Um, honestly, I didn't realize that it was an original Mega, and I did find, it's around here somewhere, um, <clears throat> a bag that does have original Megas, uh, in it. So, now I can do some vintage stuff, uh, and test it out. <clears throat> There's really, uh, I do have another Tech Target pistol. But the other one that I have was already, it was, I guess, the second generation where it was everybody, you know, all the blasters started using the micro darts or the suction darts or uh, screamers. And uh, so they were, it was a lot smaller. I mean, seriously, the old school megas are freaking huge. <clears throat> now let's get... If you had a Wii, you know what this is. This is the Switch Shot, which Nerf came out with a, uh, a video game for the Nintendo Wii. And what they did was they made this, this thing. And it came along with the game. And you fold that down, and because I'm smart and I can figure it out, uh, you put the Wii mode in there like that, or it also came with one of these and you I mean it's not terrible but it looks kind of weird it's kind of blocky and uh, I actually found the companion to this because this one's blue and yellow the other one is yellow and blue so they had a yellow one and a blue one um, <clears throat> I, 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 I always hesitated to pick these up but can you guess where I found them the outlet so I didn't the price point didn't really matter because it was it's the only time I'll pick up stuff that I, I normally wouldn't because like that silly red thing at the beginning because like at a normal thrift shop they're probably gonna ask like you know four to like between three and four dollars or three to five dollars for it and yeah sometimes I've seen stuff like that for like you know going for five bucks and it's like, but why? Why? I love me a sharp shot. I just think they are fantastic blasters. They, you know, I mean, it's a small reverse plunger. But they just look so good. The handles are really comfortable. I have like six of these, I think. I, every time I see one when I'm out thrifting, um, I... Oh, and they can be deprimed. So that way, you know, once you pull the air restrictor out of this, because if you're going to get this thing to perform at all, you're going to need to pull the air restrictor. Um, you can deprime it and it won't cause damage when you're not using it. But uh, I, I just, I like these things so much. It's so nice and comfortable. The handle's chunky and just feels good in the hand. <clears throat> I found this little guy, which I'm not even sure. Ooh. 
if she works the dart post is a little off but yay it works and this is the really fun clear and bluish green uh color scheme of the secret shot honestly i didn't realize that this came in like multiple colors i always thought that it was just the yellow one which i have one of those somebody was nice enough to uh send me one um a while back in a lot with other things um here's something <clears throat> when you start um if you're working on mods for <clears throat> and you're thinking about doing something called the octo shot you're gonna need one of these now this is the air zone eight this is the shell for this is the official humans versus zombies shell of the air zone eight and it sounds mean but i mean the darts don't really go that great this turret is what you're going to need and do i have mine sitting I thought i had it oh once you pull this and deconstruct it and turn it into that yeah this came from this this is exactly the same turret but that's for later uh, these things I mean that's actually a really sick problem but anyway air zone 8 now Oh, hang on. One last thing before we move on to other things. The uh, dart tag target. I don't think I have... Uh, I don't see any taggers lying around on the ground this time. Oh, well. But uh, this is a Velcro tag uh, target. This is a Velcro tag. Velcro target. I can talk. I really can. Mm-hmm. Sure can. Raider CS35. No drum. Uh, as I said before, this is the Raider. So it's the indirect plunger. Not the most efficient thing in the world. But... When all else fails, keep the stock, gut the shell, turn it into something fun, and go from there. Maybe even keep that handle. I, 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 well, I went over this before. I like it. I, I hate the thing because of the side wall, side magwell. <clears throat> anyway, okay. Now we're, uh, into the meat and potatoes. <laughs> well, get out of there. Come on. Come on. There we go. Wait. No. Okay. Thought I found something that I didn't realize that I had. Anyway. Doesn't make any sense, Beaker. <clears throat> um... I found these, and I wasn't exactly sure. This, like, I found doubles of the um, um, Rebel pistol, and I also found two Total Extreme Air pistols, and they sound brutal. Unfortunately, I can't give you a firing demo of these things because they just they have the weirdest. Uh, air nozzle export and I mean I, I love the color schemes on the on these things total extreme air by Lenard 2003 these things look if they're anything like the pistol splat or the wipeout pistol these things are gonna be nasty and I'm sure hoping that they are um, 
keep an eye out for a video down the line. I will uh, definitely give you like a firing demo of one of these once I actually get it rebarreled, which might be a bit. Um, <clears throat> some BS happening in my real life. Um, basically, I'm working far too much. But uh, let's see. Oh, hang on before we go any further. I'm going to actually try to make this, uh, I can't guarantee that it's going to happen, but I'm going to try and see what I can do to make it happen, that I'm going to also try to find at least one Boomco Blaster every time I thrift. And this time, I'd say I got kind of lucky. <clears throat> uh, this is the Halo Needler, and it is... It's huge, really. Like, it's, I mean, this is, it took, like, just a minute to realize that this is, hang on, we're going to pull. No, we're not. We're just going to just, we're just going to unload this sucker over that way. But uh, it has this, uh, if you've never seen it before, it has this, um, these sections here for, like, extra dart storage. But uh, it also has this little switch, and then when you pull the trigger, all of these light up, and they kind of pulsate, and then, like, as you pull the trigger, the lights go off. So it's like an ammo counter. So that's a neat thing. Primes like that, which is a little weird. Oh. Good cartridges like bouncing over top of my head, and that's all she wrote. So, the Boomco Halo Needler. I, I, I was actually having a really crap day <clears throat> when I found this, and um, a few other of the um, things that I have found. <clears throat> but uh, this kind of helped me uh, not have such a crap day. Because, uh, I mean, it's a needler. I've seen these go for like $20, $30, $40 on eBay. So, um, having one, like I, I never really, I know, I never really played the games. I am a bad gamer. But, uh, <laughs> um, we're going to go with something a little bit oddball. This is the Vortex... Koosh Vortex Power Strike. I, I, I it, it's weird. It's really weird. It's a top prime, and it pulls one back at a time, and then the top one will go, and the bottom one will go. I don't have any rings though. I'm not sure if I want to keep this. I, I, unfortunately, I can kind of. You can see, like, one side of the shell is definitely a certain color, and this side of the shell is a, another color. Like, this is a this is a vibrant purple, and this is a... Ugh, somebody left this outside for a while. But, um... It definitely saw some outside. But that's just a very interesting and unique mechanism that these come back individually and you can fire the bottom one first oh no never mind if you pull the bottom one uh first they both fire at once very interesting little thing and this <clears throat> section here just grabs onto your wrist just oh so nicely and it's just it's it's comfortable i i will say this for the vortex line um they make some comfy shells i don't know if i can do anything like crazy with this but that would be kind of wild to like modify this with like two rscbs or whatever i don't think i'm going to do that though because that sounds like a heck of a lot of work and i'm lazy so <clears throat> airtech 3000 ignore the sticker i got it at the outlet this is this is not I did not get this for $2. I got this for cheaper. 
Now, we're going to put this in the bottom one because we learned our lesson with the 2K. Oh, <laughs> oh, come on, buddy. Rotate. I can hear the overpressure release valve there. And there we go. Not very impressive right now because of this horrible air restrictor system and uh, <clears throat> but I mean the shell is relatively clean if I'm right I could be very wrong but uh, I believe that this blue one is a little bit harder to find than the silver one because um, I think they came in a two-pack of uh, the blue and silver because I've seen that before <clears throat> I don't know if the blue one was sold individually, but uh, the little goo gauge, hang on, can we see the goo gauge? Can we see the goo gauge? You pump it and the little goo thing goes up. It's the most inefficient joke, and then you pull the trigger and it goes, bye-bye. <laughs> Did I mention it's very, it's like, like... 1 o'clock in the morning, 2 a.m., something like that, that I'm recording this video. I work late nights, so I got off at midnight. But uh, let's see, we have 1, 2, 3, 1, you know, about not much left. But um, let's go with, I found another Apollo. And we're gonna load. I just so happen to have a, a, a rival mag with a couple of balls um, sitting right here. So, uh, you know, hey, a prime nap bag. We're gonna. What is that? What is that? There's a something in there. There is a something in there. I can't really see it. But there is a something. It looks like... It looks like a toy car. Uh, <laughs> it looks like there's a toy car. There's, there's, like, there's like a Hot Wheels car. Or something similar to that. Jammed in the magwell of of the, the the Apollo so unfortunately I can't give you a firing demo because I didn't see that until just now and it's yeah it's jammed in there for now so we're gonna have to pull that apart and get that out one thing I can give you a firing demo of that I was super happy to find oh hello Paragon how are you with the 40 round drum <clears throat> this thing is very happy to find it as I said before about the vortex line I'm really starting to like it this foregrip people have actually started 3d printing these because this foregrip is interesting but the biggest part about this thing some of the other vortex line like the uh, Praxis doesn't really have slam fire. This does. I only had a couple of discs in because they were all I could scavenge off of the floor. But I have yet to really play with this. It didn't have the stock when I got it. But um, I, I was just very, very pleased to find the Paragon, Pyragon, whatever. <clears throat> with the big fat mag in it and everything like that and fully functional so that's always a bonus <clears throat> speaking of fully functional and happy i found it i'm just gonna go ahead and jam this in here hailfire that's all the darts that were left and it rotates through It, 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 this is how it came. It did not have the um, 
I don't even know what you would call the, the I guess, the skirt that uh, <clears throat> it normally was. It has the nice two attachment points right here so you can just sling and have it over your neck and just turn into... This doesn't have a dart lock because of how open it has to be. But, uh, Hailfire. I don't know, this, is, this was another one that I was just, I mean, <clears throat> seriously, without that, like, skirt or whatever, this thing is really cut down. I mean, it's quite slim. That I, I can see why people just said forget that. That and you can access the magazine, so you could probably even reload this thing on the fly. This is, I mean, <clears throat> seen people use something like this at like an HVZ to varying degrees of success. That's the thing with like HVZs and stuff like that. Like it doesn't matter what you're using. Just make sure that it fits your play style. Like people I see all the time people asking, well, what's the best blaster for? What's the best blaster? It doesn't matter <clears throat> what's the best blaster. It's what works with your play style. And that's something that some people forget. As you saw in the very opening scene of this video, I found me another Titan. This one with a rocket, this time a missile, and it looks like someone's dog got to it. Fido had a field day with this rocket. The fins all chewed up on this side, and there's a chunk out there. But hey, it flies, and I was really happy to... Uh, I, will, I, I try not to pass on Titans when I see them, because... They're big. They're crazy. Hold that thought. I gotta go grab something. <clears throat> okay. So, saw this, had not a clue what it was. So I did a little research. You ever seen one? This is what's known as the disc shot. I'm just going to go ahead and pop these bad boys out because this has obviously never been used that I am able to tell because the, come on, the discs are still sealed. And what this essentially is, is a skeet shooter. It will, uh, there's a pro, it's programmable. I haven't really tested it, but I figure, oh, what was it, like $4? I'm willing to take the gamble on $4, but uh, I, I'm very interested to see if this thing works. The only real problem <clears throat> is that this, okay, if you have never even saw or thought or heard of this thing before, uh, this came in a uh, <clears throat> a pack with the element, the Nerf element of the End Strike line, which essentially was a um, a Night Finder with four. Was it four? Um, <clears throat> uh, dart holders up front. Really comfortable handle though. It looks really good. But uh, it had a little infrared um, clip that would attach to the end strike rail. And it would um, talk to this. And then fire these off. And there's quite a few in here. But uh, I don't know if it's ever, ever been used. It does not. Oh, it, this tells me it's probably never, ever, ever been used. <clears throat> Which... To me, is a good sign. Uh, if I get it working, um, I will definitely be using that in the future for uh, firing demos and such. And finally, we have reached the end of the video. Excuse me. So, I saved my favorite find for last. This is the Rapid Fire 20. I was so happy to find this. Rapid Fire 20 
as you can kind of hear and guess, is a air blaster. It takes for freaking ever to pump. Come on. Come on. There's the air. There it is. There it is. Now it has two modes to it. There's a little switch here on the side for... I'm pointing it right at my face. It's a horrible idea. Uh, rapid fire and single fire. But uh, we're just going to go ahead and unload this sucker on rapid fire. Uh, you ready? That is so satisfying. Oh, I mean, seriously. And there's a dart stuck to the wall up there. That... This is a fun blaster. <laughs> I'm just really glad that I got one in functional condition because I've seen people grab these before and the tank's not holding pressure or something is horribly wrong on the inside. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, this uh, I've decided that this won't be... Oh yeah, check this thing out. Before I go real quick, a weird pack of ammo with this little tiny itty bitty micro arrow thing. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I've decided that this won't count for uh, a uh, my upload for the, uh, the week. I'm going to be trying to do uh, weekly uploads. Forgive me if I miss a week here and there. Um, there's uh, a good bit going on in my life right now that is going to take a little bit of adjustment, but um, I do have way too many projects that uh, I need to get to and I keep picking up more but uh, this will be a uh, essentially a bonus video every month and I'll be trying to put it out uh, the first Sunday of uh, every month so that way you can see what I was able to uh, pick up in because uh, this was the month of September um, so I've already started working on the month of October. I hope you all have a very spooky Halloween, and I will see you next time. Later days.